Howdy folks, my name is Winters and welcome back to this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. As you can see, we are back on Kronos and the reason for that is because we are moving into a new story arc. Uh, as you can see, it is the Borg Advance and the first mission in any storyline requires you to uh, go to a specific location and Serve the Empire. talk to an NPC. And in this case, uh, it is uh, on Kronos. So, uh, I've just accepted the very first mission, so we're going to go up here to the NPC, which is the Ambassador, just inside the Great Hall here on the left. And uh, talk to Romulan Ambassador. Mission complete. There we go. Okay, so now we're actually going to get our mission brief for... Well, te yeah, it's not the first mission, but technically it is, in a way, uh, your first mission for the Borg Advance. So anyway, we'll uh, get the mission uh, brief now. Uh, ooh, there's no uh, audio for this. Okay, uh, well, we have to investigate reports of Borg activity in the Burgos system, which is located in the Beta Quadrant. Nothing too spectacular in terms of rewards for this mission, so we'll just accept that. Uh, we're going to make it primary. And we are going to beam up to our ship. And we're going to leave the system and go out to sector space or quadrant space, whatever you prefer to call it. Right, and we are going to... Actually, wait a minute, I could have uh, just done a transwarp to there. Oh, I'm not thinking straight at all. We'll just... Yeah, we'll just transwarp directly to the location because there's no cost with that stuff now anymore. Uh, I really have to get used to this new mechanic. Well, it's not a new mechanic, it's just I always avoided it before uh, because there was a cost to it. So, just to show you roughly where we are, or exactly where we are, uh, here's the beta quadrant, and we're up here in the top right-hand corner. So... Let's begin the mission where angels fear to tread. This is Commander Talus of the Romulan Star Empire vessel RNA. We are under attack by Borg scout squadrons. This is a. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we're stuck in uh, an asteroid. Uh, get rid of that. Let's get ready for battle. Very, very happy and impressed with this build because um, technically this is a science ship, this carrier, and um, it's putting out some good damage. But it, it's very tactical, um, heavy as well, even though it's a science ship. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with it. Alright, remove Borg presence from the ship and rescue crew. crew members. You got it. Um, so we're going over here. Well, wait a minute. Uh, we're going through here, this door, not the other door. I was thinking of a different mission. The Borg have the ability. Oh, I need to switch to my TR-116B. Uh, right, so this is going to give me uh, some frequency remodulators here. There should be enough. And it wants me now to, it's going to force me actually, there, these things here are frequency remodulators. It's going to force me to actually equip the, the frequency remodulators. So I'm going to have to put them on my bridge officers. Um, mess, and, and I'm going to have to put one on myself as well, even though I don't want to, because I've got a TR-116B. And myself. 
Yep, there we go. Now it will let me advance further in the story. Or in the mission. Gotta love the TR-116 speed. No remodulating whatsoever. And quite powerful as well. So I, I always go with the, the TR-116 B as my secondary weapon. Because... Um, It'll work for anything. Uh, it, it doesn't matter what the enemy is. Uh, it'll still work on any enemy. And more importantly, when and if uh, you come across board, uh, it, it's just so good because you don't have to remodulate your weapons. Uh, so, in my opinion, it's a very good weapon. have locked down the passage ahead. Use the console in sickbay to override the security protocols. Hello, boys. Drop some turrets. Right, our next objective is over here, I think. Somewhere. Ooh, R&D stuff. This console? It's not that console. I was sure it was uh, over here. Oh no, here it is. That's my bad. And now we have to talk to these guys, I think. Maybe? Perhaps. This dude. Thank you. And now we go to this console. Drones now, this is one area you definitely want to be dropping mines, turrets, and uh, calling in uh, things like orbital strikes, and especially if you're an engineer, because it's just wave upon wave upon wave of um, uh, Borg. And um, it, it's, that, I suppose it's not that bad, but there's like three or four waves. Actually, it's probably more like four or five waves. Um, there's another one that's just after coming in. Tactical drones are always difficult. Uh, they have a lot of hit points and they hit pretty hard as well. Whoa! Ah, oh, crap! I wasn't paying attention, but I love this. I have just been assimilated. And this is one of the best things in the game. I think this was pure, a stroke of genius uh, to actually um, put in like the, the, the uh, Borg effect uh, if, when, if you get assimilated. And uh, there's nothing you can do. You just have to wait for your bridge officers to uh, kill you uh, or hope that they will. Um, but that's what just happened to me. And uh, I wasn't paying attention. There. Yep, there's another wave. Okay, the 
Let's start picking up some of this loose. Man, there's mines everywhere. Skip. Loot, loot, loot. Always pick up your loot. Um, right, over here, I think. And there's one over the far side. Uh, we're just investigating Romulan research. Uh, because the Romulans have been naughty and been mucking about with the, uh, we are the studying some all right, now we've been back to the ship. Long range sensors show a okay. squadron approaching um, speed. We do not want to let the Romulans get away with board technology. Um, you can but you can pick whatever option you want. You can let them go. Um, we'll be, uh, you can take the technology, uh, or you can say, uh, we can't let you escape with board technology, it's too dangerous. So this now puts us in um, combat with uh, that ship, wherever the hell it is. There it is. Um, which is no big And now we fight off the board. Begin with relative ease. Survive Borg Armada. Well, that's hardly an armada. So where's the rest of the we are responding. Here we go. There we go. That's more fun. I can remember the days when I first started, damn it, um, when I first started playing Star Trek Online and the sight of a Borg cube or a Borg tactical cube, um, oh man, I, I hated the sight of them so much because it just meant I was going to die over and over again. I really hated them. And now it's just like, meh, meh, whatever, it's a Borg cube, you know, they're, they're the ones that are going to die, even though I just did there, but that was because it was caught in the Borg core explosion. Anyway. Uh, let's leave the system, because um, that is the uh, mission complete. We'll just warp through an asteroid. And let's report in and get uh, debriefed. Right, so there is no voiceover for this. Uh, we're just going to pick... Uh, do you know what? It doesn't matter. There are two shields. We've already got our endgame stuff, so it really, really doesn't matter um, which one you pick. Um, in, yeah, it, there are two shields. Um, anyway, look, at, we're going to leave it there for now. Thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I appreciate all of your support, and it really, really does make a huge difference. Um, uh, for uh, each of the videos and for the channel itself because uh, uh, the more interaction I can get um, increases you know gets into whatever the YouTube algorithms are for generate you know generating content uh, when people are searching for stuff and things like that uh, so yeah I really appreciate all of your help and support uh, my name is Winters and I'll see you next time so until then take care